Welcome to this special edition by Union Solidarity International on YouTube and on iTunes. We are joined by our great comrade Vangelis Lagos who is based in Athens who is visiting Glasgow to address a conference on a collaborative project that he is involved with other academics in Greece to investigate the activities and support for Golden Dawn, and particularly amongst young people. Vangelis, welcome, and Kalispera, comrade. It is always a pleasure to be with you, Sai. Vangelis, would you like to give our listeners and viewers an insight into the activities of Golden Dawn today and their ideological beliefs? It is clear now that uh, it is a fascist and Nazi organization that succeeded uh, entering the Greek parliament last summer, uh, gaining 6.9% of the vote. And uh, this uh, presents right now a great, uh, a great worry and a great concern for, uh, for the for the Greek, uh, so, uh, in, uh, for the Greek uh, people, and uh, especially for Greek youth, because uh, it was also it became also clear that uh, uh, an important percentage of youth vote was attracted to uh, Golden Dawn. Uh, this means that uh, ex extrem an extremist right organization uh, can. Uh, can uh, uh, attract uh, youth support in in the context of the current socio-political crisis that uh, the country experiences due to debt and recession. Uh, Golden Dawn uh, supports uh, an, uh, an authoritarian and uh, expansionist and militaristic uh, ultra-nationalism. Vangelis, that, that, that's a very fascinating insight because people in the UK and Ireland perhaps up until very recently were not aware of Golden Dawn's Nazi ideology and that central tenets of authoritarianism, homophobia, hatred of immigrants is a central part of what Golden Dawn believes in, which perhaps slightly differentiates it from other right-wing parties across Europe. We are dealing with a Nazi fascist organisation, aren't we? That's true. Uh, although uh, it uh, concentrates, its ideology concentrates on uh, immigration, uh, Golden Dawn presents a, a whole program that uh, is uh, openly fascist in the sense that it rejects any kind of democratic processes, it uh, denounces human rights and individual rights and uh, also uh, favors militaristic and expansionist policies against uh, Greece's uh, neighbors. Neighbor, neighbors. Uh, moreover, uh, Golden Dawn uh, is famous for uh, uh, its uh, hatred toward uh, immigrants, uh, minorities of any kind, uh, and uh, also of its uh, sexist and patriarchalist uh, mentality, uh, which is very, which is very clearly uh, shown on uh, its uh, websites, official websites. Also, uh, uh, it is uh, very clearly shown in uh, its uh, magazines and its uh, posters and uh, slogans. Vangelis, thanks for that response. We have seen Golden Dawn rise 
to what opinion polls are saying at the moment, gaining around 16% of the population. And of course, less than five years ago, Golden Dawn had very, very little political support at the elections, less than 1%. That is a dramatic rise in five years or round about then. And particularly worrying is the rise in support amongst young people. And I know that your research that is looking into this is looking into the question whether young people are disfranchised and angry at the recession and the, the depression and austerity in Greece. But your early findings have found some other motivations, haven't they, for why young people are actually voting for Golden Dawn? That's true. Uh, of course, young people are really angry and uh, uh, dissatisfied and uh, they reject the current situation that the country has been sent into, into uh, because of, de of, of the debt crisis and because of the austerity and recession. However, this does not fully explain the support that uh, Golden Dawn has, uh, has attracted uh, by, uh, from young people because uh, it cannot account for uh, young people for the young people's uh, uh, for young people's for, for why young people uh, did not vote uh, for any other uh, party that was uh, opposing austerity and uh, recession. Uh, this is a true. This is a, a real problem. However. To say that young people uh, support Golden Dawn is not the whole truth. Uh, a great, the great majority of young people supported other uh, other parties opposing uh, austerity and recession. However, a percentage of uh, around 10 to 14 percent of young people. This means that a part, a part of of youth and a part of the, of the general population has been uh, favoring this kind of policies and this kind of uh, ideological attitudes. This is, this, is, this is the real problem and uh, this, is, uh, that this is what our preliminary findings uh, from our research that we conduct in the Pandeion University of Social and Political Athen uh, Sciences in Athens and in the context of uh, the My Place Research Project. Our, our preliminary findings from the research we conduct in Pandeion University of Social and Political Sciences and in the context of the My Place Research Project show that there is a strong ideological and political identification of uh, young Golden Dawn voters uh, in the last elections that uh, challenges the interpretation and the theory that, of, that uh, their vote uh, for Golden Dawn was, can be attributed just to the current crisis and uh, austerity and recession. It is a more general process that involves the uh, strengthening of nationalism, authoritarianism and xenophobia among Greek youth and among the wider population, as well as uh, the strengthening of uh, extreme right agendas and, pol and policies in the Greek political system. This process uh, can uh, account for uh, the durability that uh, Golden Dawn's percentages uh, uh, present uh, between the May and the June double elections of last summer and also uh, can account for the 
strong identification, as I said, as I, I have already said, between young people's vote and uh, Golden Dawn's policies and ideology. Van Gelis, as we've already mentioned, Golden Dawn is sitting around 16% in the polls at the moment, but in the last general election, Golden Dawn, amongst people under the age of 24 who voted, got the second highest percentage behind Syriza. We also see reports of the police who are estimated to be supporting Golden Dawn in some areas as high as 50%. And we see the, the creeping authoritarianism and the rise in far-right policies that are being pursued even by the present government who have referred to migrants as garbage. How serious, Van Gelis, is the situation regarding the rise of Golden Dawn and also other right-wing fascist and authoritarian parties and tendencies within Greece? It is actually a very serious problem because uh, what you said about uh, the government's uh, turn to extreme right policies is also something that strengthens even further uh, these policies and the parties that uh, they that, that express that express them. Uh, this is again. A, a, a wider process that started uh, many years ago uh, when the mainstream political parties incorporated and adopted extreme right ideological schemes and policies. This is what happens now this is what happens now also. Uh, the government in, in its attempt to contain Golden Dawn influence uh, has uh, adopted xenophobic and authoritarian policies against immigrants and political opponents, something that strengthens even further the support toward Golden Dawn because the population, the, the citizens, see that this uh, policies become now mainstream. So the, real, the problem is real and it's, it's very important because these this, uh, developments will have uh, a great influence on uh, young people's political socialization in the future and in uh, establishing this fascist and racist policies in the Greek political system. Vangelis, it's been an absolute pleasure to hear your presentation on the rise of Golden Dawn and particularly amongst young people. I think everybody who has listened to you or watched you on our YouTube channel will be alarmed by activities and the rise of support for Golden Dawn and how this solely cannot be attributed to the depression that Greece is experiencing at the moment, but there is something more fundamental that is working in society. Thanks comrade for sharing your presentation and the initial findings of your research. It's been a great pleasure once again to have you with USI. Thank you very much for this opportunity.